Hello, this is my quick overview of Chapter 5 of Frederick Wilhelmsen's 1956 book, Man's Knowledge of Reality. Chapter 5 is titled, The First Principle of Being and Knowledge. In Section 1, Wilhelmsen speaks out against the modern idealist assumption that the term first principles refers to laws of the mind rather than laws of reality. The realist finds principles in things because the intellect by its very nature knows reality as it is. In section 2, he defines order and principle. Order is the more fundamental of the two terms. Order is the relationship between things, and principle is what governs the relationship. In section 3, he observes that the order of being is the most fundamental order, and the principle of this order is the principle of being, or existence itself. We cannot find a more fundamental principle, because this would require us to look for it outside of being, which is nothing. So the principle of being governs the order of being. Wilhelmsen tells us that being is also the first principle in the order of knowledge. Whatever the intellect knows, it knows as being. Realizing this is not essential for living a human life. We can go through life as non-philosophers. But when we become philosophers, we realize the truth of this principle, being is being. We can reach this judgment by reflecting upon the content of all our other judgments. We discover that all judgments include a judgment of being. In sections 4, 5, and 6, Wilhelmsen discusses those who would doubt or deny the principle of being. First, the mutist. This is one who denies the principle of being without giving a reason. He may be motivated by fear of affirming anything, but we are advised to pass by him without comment. His problems are moral or theological, not philosophical. Second, Hegel denies that being is being and asserts instead that being contradicts itself. This is the meaning of his dialectic. The root problem in Hegel's case is his confusion of the mental order with the real order. We can think a judgment and its opposite, but being and its opposite cannot coexist. Third, the logical positivist, or verificationist. This popular mid-century view held that non-verifiable sentences are meaningless. Wilhelmsen observes that the verification principle itself fails its own test for being meaningful. As a rational system of thought, not just an attitude, positivism self-destructs. In the final section of this chapter, Wilhelmsen argues it is impossible to deny or doubt the principle of being. One can want to doubt it, one can try to doubt it, but the attempt will not succeed. The principle itself must be used in the attempted denial, so the effort cancels itself out. That's the end of my overview of Chapter 5 from Man's Knowledge of Reality. Thanks for watching today. Goodbye.